Isojet here and I'm going to show you how you can add mods into Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PC. Now if you have it on Steam you can go over to your Grand Theft Auto, right click, go to properties and then you're going to go to lo local files, click browse local files and here we are. This is where your mods are going to go. Another way to get this is go to your local drive, go to program files, we're going to click on Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5, and we're back into the same folder. Now if you don't have it on Steam, the only other way I think it might be is in your documents, Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto 5, somewhere in here. Not too sure though. You might have to go on Google and search that out. Now let's get our mods. We're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5-mods.com, go over to Tools, go to Sort by Most Downloads, then we're going to grab the script hook. We're just going to hit download and download again on this page. You can donate if you wish. The script hook is what allows for the most basic mods, inf infinite ammo, all the guns, no wanted level, in invincibility. Once you have it, you're going to extract it. After you've extracted it, you're going to open up the folder that it's in. And then you're going to open up the bin folder. And then you're going to copy those files and place them into your GTA 5 uh, local files. Once again, you go local disk, programs, Steam, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto 5, and we're just going to paste them all in here. Now we're going to take a look and I'm going to show you what that's like. So what we're going to do now is push F4 on your keyboard, and that's going to bring up the script hook interface. Make sure you have Nemlock on. You can use 8 and 2 to go up and down, 4 and 6 to go left to right, and 5 to enter, 0 to exit. So now you can see we can change the skin of our characters. If you want, we could be the chimp. You can be a whole bunch of people here. There's a few more things you can do, as you can see, add cash, put your want to level up or down, never have it, invincible, you can super jump, fast run, etc. You can have no reload, fa fire ammo, explosive ammo, explosive melee, you can spawn a vehicle, you can either. change the world for moon grab, not too sure what that is, try playing around with it, you got the time control, the weather, turn on the wind, they see in the background that tree, start to move a little bit. You got like sunny and clear, all these the delay, other man. different know, weather Jason. effects. And here you got your vehicle spawner. You can spawn the seatbelt so you don't get ejected. Spawn inside of it, make it invincible. Choose a vehicle you want. Same as choosing a character. 8 and 2 for up and down pages, 4 and 6 to choose what vehicle you want. After you've picked the vehicle, you can even decide on changing its paint color on the spot. Or of course, you can go get it done at the shop. As well, underneath player, we can teleport to any place we want. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's go right ahead and go to Surf Club. And there we are. Now here I'll show you a little bit of the infinite ammo, explosive ammo, super jump, so high makes you jump, you got your explosive ammo, we never have to reload, invincible as well. Here we can also be a seagull flying in the air. You can also switch to being a hawk as well. If you want to land and still be alive, right before you're near the ground, you have to switch characters to a human. Otherwise, if you touch the ground or hit something, you'll just instantly die. You can even be a little rat. And then the last thing I forgot to kind of show you is like explosive melees. Run up to something and punch it and it can explode it. So let's continue on with more of our mods. 
now we're gonna go back to gta5-mods.com we're gonna go to tools we're gonna sort by most downloads we're gonna download the LUA plugin which is required for some mods majority of some mods as well as open IV for LUA plugin to work you're gonna have to have Visual Studio 2013 there's a link right here Let's click it make sure you have this downloaded then we're going to open up open IV we're going to hit download download again once we have both these download we're going to install them both onto our PCs so let's install open IV simply double click it do your simple on screen instructions to install it while that's installing we're going to put that LUA patch in just extract it once you have it fully extracted you're going to open up the folder that it's in and just copy it to your GTA 5 local files. Now you'll see you have a new folder in here called scripts. Alright, after I have both of these installed, we can go back to the site and look for some mods. I'm going to go scripts, most downloaded. I'm going to grab the gravity gun, which is pretty simple to install. Say so download. Most of these mods on the front page will tell you how to install them just here on the left side for this particular mod all you have to do is, is copy it and paste it into the local files of GTA 5 we're gonna find gravity gun we're gonna extract it but before I post it into my local files I'm gonna cut it out of here I'm gonna make a new folder in here I'm gonna call it mods you don't have to I'd rather have all my mods just in this one folder so once you have your gravity gun you're gonna open up the folder you're just gonna copy it and simply paste it into your local files and now that's done look for another mod here I'm gonna go to miscellaneous most downloads and we're gonna grab this blood mod more blood and violence again the instructions are on the left side there's all this warnings for if you have modified x64a already with a different mod then it could counteract it but since this is going to be our first mod and nothing's even been modified in that folder so we're good to go so we're gonna hit download we're gonna download this mod I'm going to show you how you can install this mod. So I'm just going to scroll down to the installation instructions. I'm just going to leave it here. Some of these mods have instructions inside of them. So after you download it, just go to the mod and extract it. Once again, I'm going to take this folder and rename it to blood so it's easier for me to know what it is I'm gonna cut it I'm gonna paste it into my mods folder inside my local files of GTA 5 as you can see there's instructions on how to do it the same thing here in the left side of his description so now let's go ahead and open up open IV we're gonna go to Grand Theft Auto you'll see little buttons around all those other icons Just tap IV and hit OK then we're gonna locate your Grand Theft Auto 5 folder that it's installed in so once again program files steam steam apps common Grand Theft Auto 5 and just hit OK if it comes up green like this that means you're good to go let's hit continue now the first thing we're gonna want to do here at the top here you say edit mode we're gonna click this this is what is gonna allow us to put, install the mods and edit everything in here but what we should do first as he said in the description there back up your files so we're gonna back up our files considering as you can see that we have to go into the update file so I'm gonna make a quick folder in the desktop here called GTA 5 backup now I'm gonna go to the GTA 5 local files then go to the update folder click on update and inside of you see the update file we're going to copy that and we're going to paste into the GTA 5 backup just in case something goes wrong you always have a backup of it and you can just replace it simply do this with any mod that's going to go into a particular folder in case something does happen you always have a backup of it This mod also wants us to modify the x64 files, so we're going to go into our local files and we're going to copy the x64a file and we're going to paste it into our GTA 5 backups just so we have another safe backup file of this in case something was to go wrong. So now we're just going to follow the instructions here, it says go into the update. If this comes up, you just install the 
ASI manager you need this to be installed to do any kind of modifications now we're gonna go into our common and then we're gonna go into data effects we're gonna replace the decals.dat as well as you're supposed to replace the blood effects dot that after that we're gonna go to the pets file here we're gonna go and add in our pet damage dot xml folder here then we're gonna go back to the main local file screen we're gonna go down to the x64 a dot rpf file we're gonna double click on that we're gonna go into textures make sure you guys backed up all your files we're gonna go into the textures and the same thing we're, we're gonna add our uh, FX decal and our pet damage decals YTD files you can just find them both you can control click on both and hit both open it's work the same way after that we're gonna look for one more mod I've always wanted to try out this the the field script mod so I'm gonna download this mod here again it's simply the instructions are on the left side of the description if they're not there usually they're inside the mod simply requires that LUA plugin like I said some mods are going to require it in the script hook it's very easy to add so what I'm going to do is find where it is Ex all I'm going to do is extract it once again I'm going to cut it I'm going to take the folder with me to my mods folder I'm going to paste it in here and all I have to simply do is open it up go into the scripts add in copy it Go to your main files, go back down to scripts, your new folder you added, go to add-ins and just simply paste it in there. And I believe to have the blips on the map for to know where the gas gauges the gas stations are, you have to go back into your folder, grab the the JPEG image of the stations, go to your main local file and just paste it in there and you're done. I'm gonna grab one more mod here for the color icons on your guns and your radio simply just download that once again on the side here there'll be very quick instructions on how to install it it's pretty simple what we're going to have to do is first extract the folder I'm gonna once again take this folder put it in my mods and if you see there's a couple backups just in case you lose something or they have already had it backed up I didn't back mine up when I did this now we simply just need to need to open uh, open IV for the instructions here we're gonna go back to our update folder we're gonna hit update we're gonna go into our x64 and then we're gonna go to patch data CD images scale for generic we're gonna go to our mods grab our mod you have an options here you can have the official radio icons realistic weapons blah 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 I chose to pick this one after that we can close it all and we can run GTA 5 and we can check out how our mods look. Alright, so I'm going to show you two of the mods that we just installed. You'll notice as soon as I hop inside my car above my map, I got a fuel gauge. As well as we got the colored radio icons. And now I'm going to show you what it's like to go fill up your car with gas. I'm going to head to the gas station here. All you gotta do is go to and honk your horn. My car was pulled up a little too far forward. Back up, honk it, and you'll see my gas gauge has gone all the way up. Now I'm gonna show you what it's like when you run out of gas. Just driving around, and all of a sudden, no more gas. You can't go anywhere, your car is done. You can get out, you can go back inside your car, no matter what. You're out of the car, you can no longer use it. And here I'm going to show you the gravity gun. You simply go to your stun gun, you point it at an object while holding E and click it to throw whatever object you have in your hands. You can also pick up people, animals, and props. It's pretty fun to play with. You'll see I'll grab this garbage can, I'll just stay there, I'll grab the light pole and I'll just stay there, see this mailbox. And the big dumpster, you can pick that up and you can throw it if you want. It's a pretty fun mod.
And here's our colored icon weapons. I like these as well. Let's kind of go through them real quick, show you what they look like. And here's our violent blood mod. The blood looks a lot better to me. Um, you can just keep shooting at a guy and make like a pool of blood. You can see all the blood on the ground. The bullet marks on people also look pretty good too. And after a few seconds or so, the blood soaked in the clothing will change a different color. So that's how you add mods into GTA 5 on the PC. Now you can go and search for the mods that you desire to add into your game. Here's a neat one here, the ju jewelry store heist. This will allow from the single player missions where you rob the jewelry store and take all the money income. This will allow you to do well free roaming. You can stay in, it, stay in there as long as you want, leave when you want, take how much money you want. As well as there's a couple other neat mods I've seen here like the, the Red House which adds 20 more missions into the game with also a heist as well, new heist. Once again, to install these mods, all you have to do is read the description or inside the folder there will be in the installation instructions. And here's another neat mod that opens up a bunch of interiors that you can go inside, like the hospital, Cluck and Bell's factory, and a few other ones. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video helped you understand how to add mods into GTA 5 on the PC. If you have any questions, you can feel free to comment, sure someone will answer them, as well as I'll do my best to help out. If you have problems with any of these mods, it could be because you've already installed the mod into there, or you haven't backed up your files. Remember to back up your files before installing mods. I'm going to be doing more PC-based videos, so if you have a suggestion, feel free to message me, and don't forget to subscribe.